Professor Graeme Austin, neuropsychiatrist, and in this episode of 5 Minute Mental Health Disorders, I'm going to be talking about Coro, or the strange belief that your penis is shrinking and being drawn back inside your body. Coro is a culture bound psychological condition, first described in China and Southeast Asia in rural, undereducated populations with strong beliefs in the supernatural. It occurs as individual cases and in small-scale epidemics and causes immense distress and anxiety to men who become terrified that they are going to die because something is pulling their penis upwards and into their body. Occasional cases of men developing coro-like beliefs have also been reported in Africa, Europe and North America, but these tend to occur in people with clear signs of other mental disorders and are not normally associated with a fear of impending death. The term has also been extended to women who develop distressing fears that their nipples are being drawn inwards or their labia are shrinking. The first description of Coro was in 1895 by J.C. Blanc, a Dutch colonial medical officer. It is commonly stated that Coro is a Malay word for the head of a turtle. Nice idea, but completely wrong. Coro is actually a word from the languages of Sulawesi in Indonesia, meaning to shrink. The Cantonese equivalent is Shuk Yong, and the first known medical reference using this term predates Koro by 30 years. Typically, people experience Koro as acute anxiety, which can last for several hours, with sweating, shortness of breath, tremors, chest pain, or even diarrhea. Most cases affecting people from an ethnic Chinese background are associated with a sense of abdominal pull, that something is drawing the penis inwards, and the fear that if it disappears inside, they will die. This can lead to frantic efforts to make sure it doesn't disappear by pulling on it, tying string around it, or tying weights onto it. The panic it induces can be so intense that attempts at suicide are not unknown. In the 1990s, an epidemic of anxiety about genital shrinkage was reported in West Africa. There, however, affected individuals interpreted the experience as someone stealing their penises and spiritual essence, and this was bound up with traditional spirit beliefs or juju. In Benin, five people were burned and hacked to death when mobs attacked individuals accused of penis theft. It is very rare in the West less common in China than it used to be as education and social conditions have improved, but it remains an everyday problem in remote areas of Indonesia. True numbers are difficult to determine, however, as many people with Koro seek out traditional healers rather than doctors trained in the Western medical tradition. Outbreaks affecting thousands of people occurred in China at times of increased social tension, such as the civil war and cultural revolution. In Singapore in 1967, hundreds of men were affected when newspapers reported that people had developed symptoms after eating meat from pigs vaccinated against swine flu. Numbers increased further after a report that an inoculated pig had died from penile retraction. But the epidemic eventually died down when government and medical officials made public announcements explaining that their fears were groundless. There are many theories to explain it. One is that Koro arises from traditional cultural beliefs that during normal vaginal sex, a healthy exchange of yang and yin humors takes place. But with masturbation and nocturnal emissions, this cannot occur, and the unbalanced loss of yang humor produces Koro. A study from Hong Kong found a preponderance of personality traits indicating a slow, shy, self-effacing and nervous temperament not endowed with much intelligence, their words, not mine, and often dependent on their mothers. Sexual guilt or fears of inadequacy were common. In the Singapore epidemic, all of those affected had heard of the Koro syndrome and seen media coverage of the outbreak, suggesting that it was an example of mass hysteria or what is now called mass psychogenic disorder. The conviction that one's genitals are shrinking can also occur in anxiety, schizophrenia, psychotic depression, heroin withdrawal, 
neurosyphilis, hypochondriasis, obsessive compulsive disorder and body dysmorphic disorder. It is important to explore the nature and origin of the beliefs and assess for other mental disorders. It is also important to ensure that the patient doesn't have actual physical changes to the penis from Peyronie's disease which can cause scarring and painful penile curvature or another illness. Sometimes putting on weight in the suprapubic region can result in the penis becoming buried and appearing smaller. And it is important to make sure patients are not just talking about the perfectly normal phenomenon of the cold water shrivel. Most of the time, explanation and reassurance is all that is needed. But if it is part of another mental health condition, then treatment is directed at this. In Indonesia, traditional healers called dukuns treat koro by giving vigorous massages, working upwards from the calf and thighs and downwards from the abdominal muscles, driving energy towards the shrunken penis. Apparently, painful levels of pressure are essential for the cure to work. Koro is usually self-limiting, but in some people it recurs at times of stress, and in a small minority it becomes chronic, the longest recorded case lasting for over 20 years. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the notifications bell to be kept up to date with all the latest releases. See you next time.